I know we've all heard the expression, you win some, you lose some. But the crazy thing about that is, that's not always true. There's people in this world who lose a lot more often than they win. Now, there are many forms of losing. Some people lose money. Some people lose a race. Some people lose a girl. But I was thinking to myself, what is the most embarrassing way to lose? A fight. A fight is one of the most embarrassing ways you can lose. And while watching Invincible the other day, I was thinking to myself, man, Mark is really getting his ass whooped. The beating was so prevalent, it made me start to brainstorm. And I started to think about every character in fiction who is known for getting destroyed. No matter how many fights they win, they always somehow lose twice as much. So I took it upon myself to compile a group of characters who are known for getting their ass whooped. Now, this doesn't mean that all these characters do is lose, but these characters have some monumental ass beatings. So without further ado, let's get into the list. Now, I thought who else better to start off this list with than the prince of ass beatings himself, the prince of getting destroyed or the prince of all Saiyans, Vegeta. Now, I know there are millions of videos of people discussing the ass beatings Vegeta has taken, but there's none from me. I mean, Vegeta stay getting his ass whooped. And it's annoying because Vegeta is my favorite character in Dragon Ball besides Gohan, obviously. But every time there's a new threat, every time there's a new villain, he always steps up like me, Vegeta, the prince of all Saiyans. And then he ends up getting knee dropped or double axe handled into the ground. Just seeing him go up against Frieza and get all his punches weaved, then get head butted and then get tail smacked into the ground, then get picked up by the hair like a slut and then proceed to get back shotted in front of everyone. Really makes it easy to crown Vegeta the prince of all ass whoopings. Or when he was fighting Majin Buu, don't get me wrong, he was giving him some work in the beginning. But when Majin Buu got his hands on him, it was over. Had him wrapped up, dogging him from left and right. He was tearing Vegeta up. Then they ran it back again when he was Kid Buu and he was getting completely and utterly diffed again. And even though Vegeta is the prince of all ass beatings, the king of all ass beatings gotta be this boy Krillin. I mean, Krillin be getting destroyed. He been dying since a kid, literally. If someone were to ask you who be getting their ass with the most on Dragon Ball, you have to say Krillin, no hesitation. He is literally the poster boy for ass whoopings across any anime. I mean, he got blown up, then blown up again, then turned into chocolate. Then one of the most embarrassing things I ever seen in any anime to this day, Frieza had him on his horn, bouncing up and down, yippee ki yay and making him ride. Yeah, Vegeta and Krillin are definitely the Shaq and Kobe are getting their ass whooped on Dragon Ball. Up next on our list, we have the great Frank Castle. Now, if you watch Punisher, then you know Frank Castle can get busy. I know he is a gun toting badass or whatever you want to call him, right? But he gets his ass whooped a lot. This is two seasons, and I can't recall not one episode, not one where Frank ain't bandaged up and got some type of bruise on his face or some type of bruise on his lip or just kind of semi bleeding like that dry blood. By the way, this series was good. There was not one episode without boxing. They are constantly boxing on Punisher. I mean, he could walk into an office max and the next thing you know, he boxing with some six foot three Russian with a goddamn weight. And the best way to describe the Punisher, he's like Wolverine without a healing factor. Like he gets beat the hell up. Like they be really giving him a run for his money. They be comboing him covered in head to toe in blood just really giving them work the crazy and most best thing from this show was the prison fight scene frank is boxing his way down a hallway now he's covered in head to toe in white and it seemed like they did it on purpose just to make sure you know how hard he got his ass whooped in this fight i mean there's so much blood flying he's getting stabbed he's getting shivved up in this hallway and i don't mean to get off topic but i ain't gonna lie if i was one of these prisoners and i saw my fellow prisoner run up stab him in the chest and then he pulled it out and stabbed them in the chest and heme them up and stab them in their neck. I'm running. I'm getting the hell out of there. Don't get me wrong. The prisoners was getting their shots in on them, but he was inevitably like killing them. They were dying in harsh ways. They, these were not easy deaths. I guess one of the best people to put up a fight against Frank had to be Fisk. Now, granted, Frank was handcuffed during this fight, but it don't change the fact that this was an ass whooping. I mean, Fisk was uppercutting him, choke slamming him on the table, gorilla pounding him in the chest. 
punching them all in the face. I mean, he was fucking Frank up. Yeah, that boy Frank Castle, he a demon. He a dog, but he definitely a fictional goddamn punching bag. Up next on our list, we have none other than Genos. Now, the list of people that Genos has lost to is long and thick. More notably, one of my favorite fights, him versus the Deep Sea King. Oh my God. Gosh, the Deep Sea King was giving him wreck. Hit him with that acid spit, then hit him with the choke slam, kneeing him through the wall. He had him looking pathetic, and it was raining, so it adds, like, you know when it's raining in a show and someone's getting their ass whooped, it has a little bit more feeling to it. Like, if you got your ass whooped in the rain, then it was like, damn. Like, it's not as crazy as getting your ass whooped with the sun out. It seemed like no matter how much work he put in or how hard he trained or no matter the upgrade, it seemed like he never fails to just get his ass beat up as like the example beat up like to show how strong they are for Saitama. The sexy ass mosquito bitch from season one, even she was giving Genos some wreck. And I swear every Genos fight is the same. Like he always starts off the fight mad hard and all these sound effects and all these cool new moves. And then he just ends up getting ganked, just getting jumped on, getting tossed around. Now I haven't watched season two of One Punch Man because everyone keeps dogging the animation, but I'm pretty sure Genos is losing over there also. But I love Genos, but he gets his ass whooped a little too much. He had to make this list next on this list we have takamichi now takamichi holds a special place in my heart i loved tokyo revengers back when it first dropped it was amazing i was in love with this show from the songs to the fighting but one thing i always fucking hated about this show is the fact that takamichi is a bitch i admire him because he usually gives some beautiful ass speech before he gets his ass whooped or like he, i know he has heart i know he has the heart but he just doesn't have the moves he stay getting his ass whooped like they be treating his ass like a little hoe and it don't make sense because literally everybody in this time period even his little homies can box at least a little bit but like he can't box at all and there's never no training arc like him getting sick and tired of getting his ass beat like he'll get real mad and rev his arms up like, man i'm tired of this i'm sick of this shit and then he'll run at them and then they'll just keep whooping his fucking ass and you'll think okay here it comes he's gonna whoop their ass he's gonna show them something he at least gonna beat their ass with pure force no it never comes he gets destroyed and left on the ground like a little wimp. His eye is swollen for 90% of the anime, swear to God, no loss. And you would think at some point he would be like, man, they whoop my friend's ass. They, whoop, they, they potentially kill my girl. I gotta do something. It never comes. The realization never comes. Takamichi is always crying. Like he gives a mean speech. But with them hands, he just ain't never got them. And he don't ask anybody to teach him how to fight or nothing. He just has to get his ass whooped every single time. Or like when he goes back in time and he finds out about someone's death and he tries to prevent it, he prevents it in some talking or some other way. They'll be like, oh, this person's gonna get stabbed on August 30th and you have to stop him from getting stabbed. And it'd be like, oh, just run up on the nigga who gonna stab him and whoop his ass. Not for him. He's gonna run to the past, get his ass whooped, get held down, get treated like a little hoe, just so history can repeat itself. This anime trope of the wimpy main character needs to stop anyway. It takes you completely out of the anime. Now imagine Tokyo Avengers with Takimichi, but Takimichi has like the fighting skills of like a diet Mikey. Like he can box, but not maybe not as good as everyone else, but at least he can box. It's a 10 out of 10 show already. All they gotta do is follow the plot, which they didn't do, and it would have been fine. But there's nothing more irritating than Takamichi cutting some long ass speech about how he's gonna protect his friends at all costs and no one's gonna get in his way then he proceeds to get pummeled into the ground like a little hoe next up on this list of people who can take an ass kicking kick ass get it no my bad so in the movie kick ass our buddy dave here is ran over by a car in his first act of heroism which causes his body to be altered by pins and metal and basically turns his skeleton into like like a weaker shittier diet version of wolverine and so he thinks he's like some hero i love this movie by the way but kick ass he be getting destroyed i'll never forget one of the very first scenes of kick ass he tries to stop like this lady from getting robbed and the robbers don't take him seriously so he runs up on them and they get to scrapping and he gets stabbed immediately like in 0.3 seconds like he just immediately loses the fight i don't know if you haven't seen kick ass but the whole point of it is supposed to be this guy who wants to be a hero and he's willing to do anything to be a hero so he goes out and tries it and he gets beat up 
It's like if Batman actually tried to be Batman in the real world. One of the most famous, most notorious scenes from this movie is when he's like fighting this group of people outside this diner. It's like a biker gang or something like that. And they're whooping his ass. And the guy goes in the diner and goes, there's some guy outside in a costume kicking ass. It's awesome. And then you go back outside and it pans outside and he's just on his back getting destroyed. They're kicking him. They're taking his batons from him. They're hitting him with the batons. But it's kind of like they got so tired and exhausted from whooping his ass. They just finally ran off after realizing that the ass whooping wasn't working. I mean, Kick-Ass was managing to get his ass whooped with one of the shittiest villains of all time, the Red Mist, which is just McLovin in a mask. Even when he eventually got his crew with Hit Girl, who was probably the toughest on the team, Big Daddy, which is basically just Nicolas Cage playing the part of Nicolas Cage. They still was getting kidnapped and some most shit. But it's time to talk about the main person on this list. You love him. I love him. But he be getting fucked up. He is. Now, Mark is half Vulturemite, half human. And a lot of the time he loses his fights because he doesn't want to lose his human side. He wants to feel human. He doesn't want to be his dad. He doesn't want to be evil. But I ain't gonna lie, he be needing to tap into that side a little bit. He be getting fucking destroyed. These people be uppercutting him into the sky, knee dropping him back down, and he still be like, okay, wait, trying to talk it out. They not trying to talk, they trying to box. It's not the time to talk, Mark. It's time to box. He, Mark has been fucked up in more unique ways than I've ever seen in any other show. Like think about the most, fucked up way you seen somebody get killed or get beat up in a show. None of them shits is touching invincible. We've seen Mark get uppercutted into the Himalayas, pounded into the side of a mountain, literally used to kill other people as a weapon. His dense body, his durable body used as a weapon in order to kill someone else. We've seen it. We've seen him crawl and beg for mercy just to get impaled by a hammer. We've seen him get held down in a circle and have everyone take turns punching and kneeing him in the face. And all of this, all of this is because Mark holds back literally 95% of the time. And I understand why he does it, but he be needing to tap into that killer instinct sometime, man. I ain't gonna lie. We saw another little glimpse of it in season two, but we didn't see enough of it. When Anissa showed up, Boy, she was hitting that ass with black flashes, hitting his ass with double axe handles, double knee drops from the sky. She was fucking him up and he was still trying to talk, still trying to disable her, not trying to fight her, not trying to kill. These people are fighting to kill Mark and he's still just fighting to disable. He's fighting to neutralize for some reason. He don't got that dog in him. And it for some reason, it be taken when his family get threatened to have that dog in him. And I don't understand it. Mark may be the god of all ass whoopings. If Vegeta is the prince of ass whoopings and Krillin is the is the king of ass whoopings, then Mark is the god because Mark gets his ass whooped so freaking much. And if you have read or listened or kept in tune with the comics, then you know that it only goes worse from here. Mark gets his ass whooped. Don't get me wrong, he be boxing, but he gets beat up in some of the most spectacular ways in this fucking series. But yeah, these are just some people that I could think of off the top of my head who I got tired of getting their ass whooped in each of their series and respective shows. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. Go ahead and follow me on my social medias, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. What you mean don't feel as gone? What you mean you don't fuck with me? I mean, back then you used to be my wife, used to be my life, used to be my everything. Shorty sure wanna come back and soak us. Hey, I'm moving on to the next thing. Now. I'm in shot it. You could have been my homebody.